Hey there, I'm B, and welcome back to One Take Reviews. Now, if this is your first time here, this is where I give reviews that are unfiltered, unedited, unscripted, uncensored, just my candid opinions and experiences about games. It might be a little sloppy sometimes, it might go on and on, who knows, but that's part of the fun of it, of giving my personal experience about games. Thank you so much for joining me today, I hope you enjoy it. Today, I've decided to feature one of my top three games, uh, this one is number three, Terraforming Mars. Now, Terraforming Mars is a controversial game within the hobby based simply on components, I find. So people don't enjoy the slightly undervalued um, component quality and artwork of this game. For me personally, I think the gameplay just totally negates any of that. Um, I could play it with it just being cardboard pieces with little hand-drawn pictures and I think I would still enjoy it because the gameplay is so good. Um, in this game, you will be uh, working as a corporation against other corporations to terraform Mars. So you're somewhat working together in the sense that Mars is being terraformed well by the both of you, hopefully well, um, but you are definitely competing for points. So you are not working together with your opponents. Um, you'll be doing this by purchasing cards, um, by gathering resources, by terraforming Mars. Um, you'll be tableau building, so cards will lay out that will give you build on abilities. Some will, some won't. It's part of the strategy there. Now, this game has got a lot of life, um, in my opinion, because you can have a few different strategies in the way that you go about it. There's also a few different corporations which will give you um, sort of a beginning um, goal to go towards. So you might have a corporation that favours the greenery tiles um, or, or production in a certain um, resource and that's that might give you some direction in the way that you go with your game. Um, and it might not, you might go completely against that, that's fine too. But I do find that that part of it is really cool for um, helping change up the game a little bit. We've played this game for two years just as the base game. There are a ton of expansions available. Um, we picked up our first expansion lately, about a month ago, um, Hellas and Elysium, which gives you two new boards to play with. Um, we've only played with it a handful of times, but we have enjoyed that. We think it's good for seasoned players who've played it a ton and are just looking for something a little different just to change that strategy up even further. So we do enjoy the new boards. I think it adds, yeah, just a little bit of extra spice there for people that um, have had a long-term relationship with the game <laughs> as we have. Um, so I guess, yeah, Terraforming Mars for me is, it's, it's incredibly thematic. I do enjoy how everything makes sense in this, um, this world they're building, this, uh, this mission they're building to Terraform Mars, you know, things make sense. There are certain, um, events that will happen that, um, they sound plausible. There are certain events that are less plausible, but we'll let that one go. Um, we just really enjoy this game and I do enjoy that it is really, it can be a solo, like a multiplayer solitaire game where you can just focus on your own thing, do your own thing and have very little to do with your opponents. Um, simply based on, uh, on who you play with, that might be something you want to go for, but it also does have the, um, potential to be quite a uh, social experience where you are looking at what the other person is trying to do. There are cards you can play to take things from other players, um, to mess with their plans. Um, this is another one of those great combo building games where you can do things, you can build yourself up for a turn so you can do these things on your turn that creates your next turn to be huge. Um, and it's always really fun, it's always really impressive to see those turn turns happen. Um, I think for me combo building games are just like they're my favorite. I love being able to do something um, and see sort of the cogs turning as you move this machine essentially towards your final goal. Um, so I really enjoy Terraforming Mars for that. This game, as I said, it's in my top three games of all time. It's number three. It is a 10 out of 10 for me. I recommend this one for, um, for gaming groups. It's more of a medium weight game, as I said. So I think, yeah, um, medium, medium weight game for gaming groups, 10 out of 10. Love Terraforming Mars, love the experience. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.